You said that you've been lonely, makes you cold as ice. Hard to get to know me, better than the lights. No way I make Good morning. He is so beautiful. <laughs> he didn't like my stinky breath. <laughs> Good morning you guys as you guys saw I did my skincare and then I also made some juice so I already had like vegetable cut up and ready to go so usually what I notice is that whenever I prepare the fruits and the veggies to make juice it takes longer so the other day I cut off a bunch of stuff guys I brought $46 worth fruits and stuff to make juice so I cut them and put it in a container and then left it in the fridge it's so much easy for me to make juice like that so I make different type of juice every single day so for example I made beet juice it's actually a mix of a bunch of things I had cucumber in it turmeric ginger pineapple apple uh, celery so it's like mix of everything so I get the vitamins that I need because your girl is not a vegetable and fruit eater so I think this is the best way for me to get all the nutrition that I need so anyways we're just gonna ignore the mess in the back you guys for now because I will get to them in a minute I need to clean up this room I need to clean up my room I need to get ready for spring semester okay you guys so we're like end of January today is freaking January 23rd you guys 2024 okay 2024 and it just hit me in the head that we're in 2024 and I have no idea how the time has flown by, how time has passed. Believe it or not you guys, the other day on Sunday I was writing 2023 on a paperwork at work and then my coworker is like, Samia, it's not 2023 girl, it's 2024. Honestly, this whole month has passed by and I didn't even feel like we're in 2024. Like, come on girl, you need to wake up. Spring semester starts in literally in two days, you guys. I have two days to get my life together, to get ready mentally for school. This video is all about getting my life together, you guys. I need to clean up my room. I need to clean up my mental space. I need to get ready for school. By the time you guys watch this, I have not filmed the Q&A like, slash life update yet, but I know I will be uploading that before this video so you guys know that I have missed two semesters 2023 I was not in school so I am finally back in school and I can be slacking I need to get a for the classes that I'm taking for this semester and I need to study for a TES exam I know I have been saying this since the beginning of my nursing journey but you guys life happens you know things happens and we're human I'm only a human excuse me every time I drink juice makes me burp so much and I try to drink it on empty stomach by the way because the ginger is supposed to help with the gut at the end of the day I'm just a human you know I do make mistake and a lot has happened in my life I need to get A's in the classes that I'm taking I need to get myself 
prepared mentally for school semester this video is all about getting my life together because I am a hot mess you guys my room is a total mess it's way messier than my mental health so in this video we're gonna be doing self-care getting my life together getting ready for 2024 I have not made a vision board for this year I have not made a list of goals for this year so we're gonna do this slowly it might not be in this video but I am gonna try to do it as I'm gonna be drinking my juice I'm gonna go make a list of things to do for today things to do before my first day of class on the 25th I need to get myself ready and prepared I'm gonna make that list and then we're gonna tackle this room tackle my room get laundry ready let me go ahead and drink my juice and do that instead of me mumbling because I know I can mumble here and talk to you guys forever because I feel connected with you guys when I talk and I can speak my mind nobody is judging me I mean I hope you guys are not judging me I hope you guys like me for who I am and English is not my first language so I do mumble I do say stupid things so please don't judge me I'm just here trying to share my life and create a community that I love so yeah anyways enough of me mumbling I'll talk to you in a bit just things to do today was to wash my hair because I have not washed my hair over a week now so I'm gonna get the laundry ready clean both rooms and then shower and shave and do skincare which if I can't do skincare today I'm gonna do it tomorrow but let's just go with cleaning the room first and getting the laundry ready 
I really want to wash this one. I don't know what it is called. My husband got it for me from Amazon because I'm usually like cold. So especially if I'm studying or editing, I put this on. Or like whenever I want to be comfy and cozy, I wear this. And it's really warm. I do recommend my husband is thinking of getting another one because sometimes he uses mine. But I have read reviews. It says that after you wash it, it like shades a lot. And I don't want that because I already have enough shading going on in this house. Because Simba's fars are like literally everywhere. So I'm not gonna wash it. He's old, his whole body is cracking since he came home. Alright you guys, so it's much later. I cleaned both rooms. It's not perfectly cleaned. I still need to work on my room tomorrow. Hubby came home, fed him. <laughs> now I'm gonna change and go do the laundry and I'm so tired you guys. I think I took nap yesterday around this time. Maybe that's why I'm so sleepy. But after the laundry, I'm gonna go shower, wash my hair still in a braid now let me show you guys the rooms they are looking pretty neat but i don't know how long it's gonna stay that way this room is pretty nice and neat love it when everything is clean you guys my room looks so much cleaner than before like before you couldn't even see the floor now at least i get to see floors it's not like 100 percent clean i also need to organize the vitamins so i brought this one said it's gonna be hubby's and the other side is gonna be mine i need to clean this and put all the multivitamins and stuff like that and over here i don't know what to do i really need to like put away some stuff this is what i just got from amazon you guys this smells incredible hubby doesn't like it though he says it's spicy but i love it this thing smells incredible i cannot wait to shower today and use that body lotion and we got this for simba we noticed that he has like some kind of acne on top of his eyebrows so we're trying to like treat it before it gets worse because we read somewhere it says it will keep on getting worse if you don't treat them right away
good morning you guys it is the next day I Ooh, the exposure is really high let me change that hold on okay I think it's much better so you guys it is the next day last night I washed my hair shower it felt so good it is like 11 45 right now but I've been up since 6 30 in the morning I woke up prayed and you guys I woke up with a, such a bad headache I don't know why so I'm assuming that because I didn't have enough of water intake yesterday maybe that's why but you guys my headache was so freaking bad that like I could hear my heartbeat so if you guys want Watched one of my previous video I actually took my camera when we went to see our ophthalmologist it was in my bag and somehow I changed the setting like I think I clicked something or I don't know what happened but the setting changed completely so ever since then I've been trying to like fix it and for some reason I just cannot get it right that's why my settings are a little bit crazy like one day you guys see it's so bright the next day it's like dark but anyways it is the next day I did my morning routine I did not have my juice yet because as I said, I woke up with a such a bad headache and I don't want to get a headache tomorrow because tomorrow we have class. So I'm going to try to finish this and then make my juice. Because what I notice is that when I drink juice, that kind of fills me up and I don't have the appetite to drink more water. Like I'm not thirsty anymore. So that's why I'm trying to drink water first before I make my juice for the day. I did a little bit of makeup later on though, you guys. I need to wash my brushes. So let me show you something. So as you guys know, I don't wear makeup that often nowadays. I wear wear makeup like once a month or so it's like really rare that I wear makeup this is my setting spray okay this is one of my top favorite and I highly highly recommend but the thing is you guys there is mold like literally I see bacteria is growing like can you guys see I don't know if you guys can see this white thing it's bacteria colony is growing in there you guys i need to throw this away so it's a reminder for myself and for you guys to once a week or every other week clean your makeup brushes and clean the products i think because whenever i spray i just like shove it and the sprays kind of like stick around it i think that's where the mold started growing the bacteria started growing so yeah i need to clean my makeup products and go through them and see what needs to be thrown away this needs to be thrown away can i clean my brushes later because as you know i already suffer with acne and i do not want to put more bacteria on my face as i was editing i got distracted with the camera setting i was trying to fix it i was trying to watch a lot of youtube videos on how to fix it and to change the setting and stuff like that but um yeah that took me a while i was trying to edit i added a little bit and then got breakfast and had cha in the morning with croissant and now I'm about to go outside get a haircut and I'm gonna go drop off some food for my man because he's at work so yeah after the haircut I am gonna come home wash my makeup brushes I need to go through my makeups and see what needs to be thrown away and check to see if anything that needs to be thrown away because this is disgusting you guys and as I mentioned to you guys I have not been doing makeup I tend to neglect my makeup brushes and makeup products so yeah I don't really go through them often and I'm gonna do some more cleaning and organizing in my room and I also have to cook too so this is my hair you guys this is the hair before so my hair comes up to here like I don't know if you guys can see my hair comes up to all the way up to like my waist I'm gonna try to get a trim I'm not gonna cut too too much just to like you know get a fresh cut I know I've been talking so freaking much but you guys today is the last day I need to like get ready mentally and physically for school because tomorrow is the first day of class so yeah wish me luck I'm gonna go clean my glasses and then head out also you guys I just realized whatever this whole entire time that I was talking I was over exposure so like I anyways I need to figure this out hi good morning can I place an order for pickup okay got you what else nothing else okay so it's gonna be one pad thai with beef mm -hmm. one other uh, thai sloppy one other thai acid yes thai. yes okay all right see you around the team for pickup thank you so much I will see you then thank you see bye. you bye bye
this thing smells incredible it was gifted from one of my co-workers slash like a friend but we don't really talk and i'm not a texting type of girl like i'm more so like let's meet up and when we do meet up when i do meet up with my friends i talk for hours non-stop but when it comes to like texting and calling i'm not really a good person i even don't even call my mother like i call my mom like every two three days unless she calls me but this thing smells amazing i got my sister on it as well so she came over to my house and then she was actually smelling it and she's like oh i really like it and now she got one for herself as well highly recommend if you guys are looking for a perfume this is perfect i love it it smells incredible I'm gonna take my vitamin C because this morning you guys are sneezing and my nose was running and I'm about to head out and I don't want to get sick I'm gonna be taking three of them Let me check the weather before I head out because if it's cold, I don't want to be freezing. It just feels like 43 degrees, so which is not bad. Alright, I'm all ready to go. You're hiring someone today? Maybe. Tough decision to eat. Here's your coffee. Here's my tea. I'm on my own, broken alone. I feel the rain crashing down. All around this empty town. I'm searching for the lost and found. But you don't care, you're unaware. Keep moving like the scars aren't even there. It's in the air. Like a blazing flare Hi guys, so I just got back from the hair salon and as you can see, she made my hair really short. Okay, I gotta tell you guys, hold on, should I be far or should I come close to you and talk to you? So I stopped by, gave my husband food, and I got some multivitamins from Walgreens. So I got the syndrome men and women. I was gonna buy like individual vitamins. I already have like vitamin B12, B1, and some other vitamins at home. But you know, instead of buying like individually, I read through them and it actually contains all the, the vitamins that a person needs. So I'm not gonna buy like individual ones, so this should be good. They're like 120 tablets on each so should last us about like four months sorry i had to like think about it that's only if we take it regularly because my husband and i are terrible at taking vitamins but anyways you guys this girl she is so rude first of all she was just on her airpods she was just talking on the phone the whole time so basically i went there and then i'm like oh you know i'm just here for the haircut and i told her exactly what i wanted and how i want it and she did not listen by the way so i told her that i want front layer and round what do you call it U shape back which I think she did my hair used to come all the way here and now it's up to here like my hair would come up to here and now she cut all this much okay so I told her like you know don't cut too much I just want a trim and front layer and round back she's like okay she agreed to whatever I told her so at first I told her to cut just this much like this much 
but she's like you know i need to cut a little more than that i'm like okay that's fine then she showed me how much she's gonna cut she actually cut way more than what she showed me and on top of it i do not put heat on my hair okay and my hair is already like somewhat damaged i told her like please no blow out for me then she insisted she's like oh i need to see the front to see if the layers are like even she's like oh i'm not gonna put too much heat just a little bit just so i can see if the layers are good which understandable she wanted to see if the layers were like even so then she went ahead and blew out the front to see the difference if it's even or not and then after that i'm like please no heat no more right she's like oh it's wet let me just dry a little bit i'm like you, you don't need to do that like my hair will dry she didn't listen she went ahead and did it and then look my hair is so freaking you see the freeze like it just like like what the hell like anyways my thing is if you're not gonna listen to your client then don't even bother asking okay just be like oh you know i'll do what i can and i'll do my best right if you say it like that then it's more understanding so look how short my hair is you guys i'm not even gonna be able to braid my hair i'm not even gonna be able to do the regular hairstyle that i do the only thing i can do is just put it in a bun or like a ponytail like this this is the only hairstyle that i will be able to do with this short hair that's all I'm not like too mad because I know my hair will grow back within like next six, six months it will actually grow. She was just so rude in general like she didn't want to take her time doing anything. She rushed as well like it didn't take her more than 10 minutes. It is what it is. Let's get moving. Try with you 
next day and I wanted to update you guys because I didn't get the chance to talk to you guys afterwards so yesterday after I cooked it was pretty late and then I did some skincare and I did deep conditioning on my hair and then I showered organized the pill organizer and you guys a lot of this medication has been expired like some of them expired in July 2023 this one was November 2023 so I'm gonna need to throw these away it's a lot of waste of medication like there's so many vitamins I have amoxicillin over here there are like a ton of the medications that we thought we would need it and we would use it but ended up not using them at all for example vitamin b1 I probably took like a couple of them same thing with the vitamin D because I am low in vitamin D so I brought this thinking that I would take it every day but I ended up not taking them and also you guys this and the Tylenol has been expired since May 2023 and July 2023 and we have been taking them without realizing that it's been expired and then after that my husband and I did like self-care like I did some skincare for him and put oil on his hair I did the same for myself so after doing everything it was pretty late I was pretty much ready for today except I didn't do the eyelash extension which I actually did it this morning because it was pretty late by the time we slept and for some reason you guys I did not get enough sleep I don't know what it is I think I was just anxious about school so yeah but I woke up early did my morning routine and did my eyelash extension and went to school so today it was first day of classes it actually went pretty well we didn't really do anything we just basically went over the syllabus starting from next week we're gonna have to start doing homeworks and assignments and stuff like that and we have to buy books online which is like I think 50 plus dollars overall today went well and the other update you guys on my hair as i was telling you guys that it was pretty short and whatever like you know it's not a big deal because my hair is gonna grow back and surprisingly when i was doing my hair this morning it literally took me like 10 minutes to do my hair usually when i had my longer hair it would take me like more than 15 minutes to do my hair so in a way it like you know kind of works out yeah so i'm not like 
too upset about the haircut so this is how the hair looks after styling it I like it actually it looks very really nice so yeah anyways I just want to say thank you so much for watching you guys I love you guys and you guys have no idea you guys mean the world to me although I don't know how to show it I don't know how to explain it I don't know how to express it but it means a lot I really appreciate you guys support and love and all the sweet comments that you guys comment on my videos I will end this video over here I will continue to do more like um getting ready for the 2023 you see right there i was saying 2023 but it's 2024 like getting ready for 2024 like i need to write down my goals for this year i want to start reading books and stuff like that so yeah i think i'm gonna do that like next week and i need to plan for this semester which i did not do yet because today was the first day as i told you guys we didn't do much starting from next week that's when it's gonna actually feel like that we're in school so, so yeah i hope to see you in my next video and if you are not already subscribed please subscribe because it helps my channel out a lot and it kind of motivates me to make videos if that makes sense so yeah thank you i love you and i will see you in my next one